Hey YouTube, it's David from mdbootstrap.com. In this video, we're going to build the entire page using Vue and Bootstrap 5. In the previous video, which uh, you can find in the description down below, we uh, learned how to connect Bootstrap to Vue. Uh, and in this video, we're going to go further and we're going to build the entire page with use of Vue and the Bootstrap. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so let's start with creation of new view up view. Create um, view tree, bootstrap five uh, landing. It's gonna ask us landing. It's gonna ask us about um, the settings. I'm gonna go with the default one, or you can also uh, go through the manual steps and decide upon uh, uh, which uh, package manager you want to use, whether you want to use TypeScript or not, and so on and so on. Um, it also asks you about the linter um, and a few other options. Uh, I will just stick to the default ones and let's um, wait until the installation is done. Uh, by the way, I do assume that you have npm installed. If you don't have it. Please check the description down below where you're going to find the link to the tutorial on how to install NPM on your machine. And uh, now when the installation is over, let's navigate to the folder bootstrap uh, view 3 bootstrap 5 landing uh, and let's uh, install bootstrap. So we already did it in the previous video. I'm going to quickly go through that install bootstrap and also we will need another dependency which is popper. So uh, npm install at popper js slash core that's gonna install uh, the bootstrap dependency for popovers um not found popper js oh double r let's fix the typo and let's install it once we install it let's run our server with the npm run serve command which is gonna start uh, our server and when it's done, we will open it in the browser. So this is our page in the browser. And now if we check the source code, we're going to see that within our head tag, the first styles. Oh, no, actually, we didn't add it yet, right? So they're just installed. So let's add them now. Let's navigate to Bootstrap 5 landing uh, source main JS. And we're going to import CSS first. So import bootstrap slash dist slash css slash bootstrap css and the same for js except for we're gonna change js and js over here let's save it let's recompile and now we should see that here we have bootstrap 513 installed into our application okay now let's quickly uh, do two things let's go to bootstrap 5 docs Okay, and uh, let's uh, go to components and I'm going to just do something like this. I'm going I'm to mm, do a little bit of cleanup over here. So uh, let me enlarge the uh, font for you so you can see it better. And let's get, let's make this window a little bit smaller. So now I want to get rid of uh, all of this. I want to have div inside. I don't need any scripts, uh, and any props here. And for the styles, we don't have styles neither. So I'm just going to get rid of it. So we're going to have our hello uh, component and I'm going to do copy and I'm going to paste it a couple of times because we will use a couple of components. So we're going to have a template to choose from. So let me do it quickly. And now let's start with the hello world. We're going to rename it to navbar. So this is navbar. Okie dokie. Let's rename the file as well. So navbar. Oh, double R again, rename. We're going to get a couple of errors because we didn't change the app.js yet, but don't worry. Let's go to components first, then navbar. So here it is. Let's copy the example and let's replace this template here. Now let's go to app view. And what we want to do, we want to get rid of this one. We want to have this hello world change to actually this is navbar and this is navbar this is navbar and this is navbar okay now it should be working fine let's check it now we have our navbar here 
let's get rid of console um, we have some margin here that because we have some custom styles over here let's get rid of this styles and now it's stick to the top now what I would like to do I would like to have a dark nav bar so let's go and see how we can change it change nav bar dark um, nav bar dark and background dark so let's replace this one with an our nav bar here we have nav bar light and light let's replace it and voila that's how we have it okay so this is our nav bar now let's uh, go to the second component we're gonna create a so-called jumbotron so i'm gonna call it jumbotron and i will call it jumbotron and what we're gonna use here we're gonna use a container then we're gonna have a row by the way this is all bootstrap so if you don't know bootstrap please check the description down below we have a crash course on the bootstrap 5 where you're gonna learn all of that um so if you don't know what, what what's exactly going on uh please do check our course before uh continuing this video so uh, i'm gonna add a call md7 so this is gonna be our uh, image holder and i'm gonna do call md5 for some text over here and as for the text um actually as for the image let's uh, go and pick some image from pick some photos uh, so how about this one and let's change some um let's change this to something like i don't know 600 by 400 let's say so this is going to be our image and for the text uh, i already prepared some i already prepared some uh, some text before just to speed it up um so uh, let me quickly just grab this so i've got some some headings over here let's save it so we have some headings we have some paragraph over here and we have some button right so let's see how it looks now okay this is pick some let me and get this now and oh obviously we saved it we haven't used it yet so now let's go to app and import navbar we actually want jumbotron from jumbotron add jumbotron here and finally oh we don't need this message anymore so let's add jumbotron and we have nice jumbotron and an image over here we are missing some spacing over there so let's do this with adding uh, margin y5 rams into both directions and that's great now let's go to the next component i call it call to action so let's rename it to call to action and this is gonna be cta and what we're gonna do here actually we're gonna uh, use a couple of uh, classes to uh, to create nice call to action just with the bootstrap classes so container within the container i'm gonna have a call and uh, actually row and call and i want to have now div with the couple of classes so first of all i would like to have a background secondary and um let's have some text here uh let's put it something like this this is call to action and let's see how it looks now oh obviously we didn't add it yet so back to app copy paste now we want to have cta from a cta and let's use a cta down below jumbotron so this is our Call to action doesn't look great yet, but let's see what we can achieve with just a few classes. So actually, let me do it this way. So we're going to see what's going on. Text white. This will make our text more visible. Now let's add some spacing. MY5 and PY4 for paddings and margin. Oh, it's looking better. Now uh, let's do card. And I think this will give us a pretty nice, uh, pretty nice effect. However, let's do one more thing. Let's use a card body around it. So we're gonna, we are using the bootstrap card, which will give 
even better look to to this element obviously we can play with it we could just use some of the components from from uh from the bootstrap uh but i kind of like it the way it is so now let's move to the second uh, or the third component now uh, i want to have some cards here so let's see what we can grab uh, and grab over there so i want to have a card and I want to have some card um, yeah, like this one, for example. So I'm going to copy this one and let's rename this to card. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put all three cards into one component. Obviously, I could create the single card and then paste it three times. But let's do it this way. Let's call it cards and let's have some uh, row over here. Actually, container. We always need to have container row. And now I want to have call md4. If you know, um, if you know, within the Bootstrap, you always have to, uh, you always have to have to um, have um, calls which sum up to 12, right? So uh, I'm gonna use some pictures here. So let me use uh, this source over here. Let's replace with the, another pixel photo. And let's add it to our app. So again, import this from uh, cards, from cards, cards, and cards here. Okie dokie. Now we have single card over here. Um, now, hold on. I think it's too narrow. Well, let me see why it's so. We don't need jump button anymore. Let's go to cards. Probably this is because this is there right so it's slightly bigger now mm, okay let's just let's just make three of those so we'll have three cards and let's quickly just change the ids of the images which we are using so the first one is 200 and this is 201 so by the way if you're using this pick some photos you can have this specific image uh, you can check uh, how they look uh, on the Pixel page, I'm just using some random numbers, so I'm getting some of them. Uh, I'm really happy with the results. So finally, let's just create the last component, which is gonna be a footer. So this is the footer. Let's change the footer here, and yeah, let's see if Bootstrap has some footers. Footer. Nope, they sticky footer. Oh, let's see. Footer, sticky footer. Here it is. There is some footer. There's a footer here. Okay, this is the fixed number. Let's just check the code. Uh, so let's begin page content. Footer. So this is footer. Let's just grab this one and see. Uh, let's see how it looks like. Um, so this is footer. Let's paste it over here. This is footer up again. Footer from footer. By the way, all the code will be attached, so you can download this from the description down below. So if you missed something, don't worry. You can just download the code and and, and play with it and compare. Let's see. So we have this footer here. We definitely need some. Um, we definitely need some classes margin y or margin top I would say 5 um, why don't we have it here I don't know. refresh margin top 5 uh, margin top auto yeah we want to margin top 5 and I actually want to have it to be BG dark and text white yep that looks much better now let's get rid of this text muted yep and uh, yeah voila that's it we have created this page with just a couple of minutes obviously this is not, not the best page you've ever seen but that wasn't the goal the goal was to show you how easily you can a use bootstrap with the view the newest bootstrap 5 with the view 3 and how quick quickly you can actually create and, and design the pages uh, in the front end of your application with the use of Bootstrap. We might need some polishing uh, uh, here and there, but to be honest, as a very basic page, which we've done with, I believe, something like 10 minutes, it's pretty good. So uh, if you don't want to miss more videos like that, we also have a lot of tutorials on other technologies uh, like React, like Angular, also the backend technologies. Mm, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn notification 
on. I want to show you the very last thing. Uh, so if we want to now show our project, publish our project, uh, we can do it with the simple command mdb publish. What I'm going to do right now is going to ask me about the package manager. I'm going to stick to npm and that's going to uh, build and upload project to web within just a couple of seconds. So here where the magic is happening. And once it's done, once it starts uploading and our page is ready to watch on the internet with SSL connection, you can see over here. So now it's publicly available. How to do that? Simply go to mdbgo.com, install mdb command line, mdbgo CLI, and create a free account and start using this for free today. Thank you for watching and keep coding.